Being edgy and stylish in adulthood, let's be honest, is not so easy. So in this video, I decided to create a really good list of items, accessories and essentials that could create your outfits instantly be alternative. So if that's something that's interesting to you, just make sure to stick around because I will be sharing with you game changer ideas. <laughs> Buongiorno, buongiorno you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope that everybody is feeling good. We are ready for this amazing springtime. It's so cool. If you're new on my channel, my name is Cenga. I'm a personal stylist based in Milan and this channel, yes, this is where I have to stop because I have something to announce. I made a decision about niching down because my channel was more or less about styling and personal styling, but I feel like I should really niche down in order to get to the right people and give the best knowledge to you guys and to be very directed. So my new niche, new old niche, is going to be about edgy styling and about alternative styling. So if that's something that seems to be interesting to you, stick around, give me a chance. And if you're all here and you just really don't relate with that, give me a chance anyway, because it's it's gonna be much fun. Today we are going to be talking about essentials and accessories that makes an outfit to be edgy but in order to get them all make sure to watch this video till the end. And before we get into this video I just wanted to say a huge thank you to my new subscribers. You guys are the best literally. A huge special thanks to those who subscribe publicly so you guys can have your initial on your dedicated heart and you guys know where you go. You're going to the jar. <laughs> Being edgy, what does that mean? What is the definition? An edgy style is all about combining clothing apparel with accessories, shoes, bags, jewelry in a way to reflect unconventional and different. And in my personal opinion, being edgy is also a kind of dark styling, so I don't really feel like it is dreamy. It is definitely a statement, it is definitely loud, and it's definitely under the umbrella of alternative styling. Just a quick disclaimer, I think this journey is very interesting because you have to collect all the information that you need and then implement it in your own personal style and put the two things together. So what I say in this list is my opinion and what I implemented in my grunge wardrobe. So just feel free to, you know, pick those things that are interesting to you and then create your own list. Okay, so the first thing that I would recommend to get it is a harness and it is an accessory in my opinion that is not so expensive and so universal. You can wear it over almost all kind of clothing. Should it be a dress? Should it be a t-shirt? Should it be a blouse? You can simply bid that one accessory make the outfit turn to be much more edgy than casual. Spikes and rivets in every amount and that is just my personal favorite I guess. I still remain to be that like emo girl in my deep heart. Should it be on my jacket, should it be on my bags or shoes. I really love this kind of symbol coming back. It is to me it is very rock and roll and very underground. If you want to make an outfit to be a little bit more particular I would go with metallic surfaces in general. So rivets and studs are just the best option to do so. Creepers and platform boots and shoes in general, I literally love them. Guys, I'm a tall girl, I can tell you, but I always say go with those shoes because they are such a statement and so particular. It is going to be definitely be a contrast in your outfit. I really recommend high platform shoes are always making the difference and always gets the attention. I really like the La Moda shoes, I got two of them. And if you guys are interested, here is the haul, I talked about it. And yes, if you're asking me, I'm always almost breaking my ankles in them, but just be careful, just be careful please. And we have to talk about makeup as well because I really think that big eyeliners, black, I have blue ones, I don't know if you can see. I think they are again contrasting an outfit and get really much attention. If you are looking for implementing just tiny baby steps in your styling because maybe you don't really feel like going completely edgy and completely throw your mind away thick eyeliners are very good options to do so and even maybe like red lipstick i just personally don't like red lipstick on my season because i'm an autumn and on autumns like the deep red look better earrings and accessories generally as i said before i would recommend to wear metallic surfaces and this point is where i have to just stop for a second because i think the most important part of it is just to know your season because not each season can wear gold or not each season can wear silver so you know it's really recommended to know first your season and then realize what tones look good on you like should it be like cool undertones or warm undertones but i would definitely recommend wearing chains all these like spiky 
all these like heavy accessories when it comes to earrings for example I really like the big hoops with maybe a small charm on it I've got an earring that has the hoop and a cross charm I really love it and you can also go completely free because the main point in edginess is that you give like a free way to yourself if you want you can even wear like one hoop earring with that little cross on it and on the other side you can wear something like this that is actually just a simple chain with a small charm in the end. I believe that the more different you make it, the better it is, the more interesting it gets. Everything that has holes on it, is ripped, looks overworn, is welcomed in an edgy closet. And it's so funny, last time I was um, with my mom, I was wearing like a leather jacket and underneath I, ha I had this t-shirt and my mom said like, oh my God, you've got holes on your t-shirt, like what did you do? And I was like, mom, that's the styling. <laughs> so yes, all these like grand t-shirts with holes, with scratches on, I think is a definitely yes in your closet if you are looking for this kind of styling and also there are t-shirts that has like small rivets on it it's also very very cool a very cool option something very 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 related to these like ripped jeans and like you know uh, destroyed items is tights I think tights are the unique and easy way to make your outfit to be more edgy I really like the line of uh, Cartesonia they dropped it last year I guess they had all the bands collaborations and they had had these tights with Rolling Stones and Queen. I love, I, I've got all of them, like really, I went totally crazy. But I think even the fishnet tights or generally ripped tights are definitely a good option to complete an outfit. You can combine it with a cute A-line skirt or um, leopard pattern dress. These patterns, we're gonna talk about it in another video where I'm going to show you the most underground and most edgy patterns. But I definitely recommend you to wear these heights in your outfits because it instantly makes an outfit to be more edgy. I couldn't miss talking about leather jackets and punk leather jacket. I also made a video about how I made my own leather jacket. I'm going to show you the leather jacket before I link you the video. You can go completely crazy and wear whatever you feel like, only you can limit yourself. So I really recommend in an edgy wardrobe to have at least one leather jacket. It could be the one with the fringe or one with the small drawings on it. It can be also one with uh, small rivets and patches. It really depends on you. Go with I think neutral colors so that you can complete every single outfit with them and of course something that is um, very edgy and I believe if you're watching this video you probably like bands and you probably listen to music and you probably have already in your wardrobe some band t-shirts attention attention wear those t-shirts that you really listen to I don't know I have this fixation and I really think that it would make no sense to wear band t if you don't really listen to the band so you know just keep it as clear what you listen get a band t-shirt and style it in it's definitely edgy definitely alternative my favorite like i could wear it forever an acdc t-shirt and it's very nice because it's got some colors in it and it's very easy to match with other colors of course edgy styling doesn't really implement so many colors but generally saying because yes that there are ways to implement colors in your wardrobe even if you're edgy but since i learned the colors and i know that black doesn't really fit me so well i'm always trying to balance it out somehow so you can see that my jacket for example is black and white so I'm wearing like these blue accessories that are my color tones don't stick to black be brave enough to bring in some colors our goal is going to be to find you the one that has the good silhouettes for your body shape the right tones and still being edgy it's fine if you have a lot of black in this style direction you cannot really avoid it but just try to concentrate on completing it with something that is really resonating with you and is some kind of color and yes so that was it for today and I hope that you enjoyed i hope that i could help you and give you some ideas and inspire you and if you like this video please consider giving me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and see you next time ciao